Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Right, this one, really excited about this one because um, this is all about making your previews on your tables. Like when you, as you scroll through your tables. Because um, that's the first thing you're going to see on what table and you're going to go, yeah, I'll pick that one. Or no, I won't pick that one. So I'm going to show you how to make your table more attractive in the menu. And so we'll go through into the game and we'll record um, the table getting played. So when you're in an arcade um, parlor, you're going to see arcade machines and they're going to have spaceships shooting and, and it's going to attract your eye. You don't want to see a pinball table that's just static and nothing's happening. It's all just sitting there and it's doing nothing. You're just going to go, yay, I don't want to. But if you see something playing, the ball going around and things moving, you're probably going to be more attracted to that. So we've got three tables that we're going to change on this one. Um, it'll be Paragon, um, Skateball, Ballet Skateball, and Atlantis. Not the old Atlantis, the newer, I think it's 95. So we're going to change those three tables if you're familiar with them, but they're going to be examples I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is Skateball. Um, you can see how it doesn't really look that attractive so we're going to press um, there's the back glass there this is skateball ballet skateball so I just kind of press um, our space bar just going to go to record I record again I'm going to hit my space bar again I might put that over there so you can see better space bar and then right flipper I'm gonna go record play field so we go space bar again Have fun. right so you'll notice it's really dull until you put credits in I don't want my I don't want my menus to be dull. I want them to be bright and I want the ball moving around like in a track mode. So what we're gonna do is put credits in. Right, we've got credits. Okay, so I've got a ball in. Um, I'm gonna pull back my plunger and press the S to start recording. I am now recording you playing with your ball. I'll probably, let, I'll probably let that go down there and down the guts now. And we'll press S. Then I'll press encoding S. Please wait for encoding. Do there you go. System. Now I'm just going to go turn the lights off and we'll replay that. Well, that's done now, I'll turn the lights off. Conversion now done. Enjoy. Okay, so we're going to exit. So that's the table finished. We're going to exit back onto skateball. I'm going to press, um, we're just going to look at that and not press nothing. So you'll see the actual recording that I just did before. It's nice and attractive, I think. Um, you want movement. You want movement in because most arcade machines have a spaceship shooting something in their track mode, don't they? So why don't you want the pinball table to have an attract mode like that? Alright guys, we've got Paragon. So you can see up the top here, um, I've actually fixed the table up on this one. I've actually stretched it and got the way I want to. Um, this is the old recording, so I'm going to show you how to fix up the recording as well. And we'll get it the way I want to get it with the ball going and that type of thing. So what you do is you just turn your keyboard on, 
Press space bar. Press space bar. Then it goes up to here, play game. And use your left and right um, flippers. So we're gonna go to record display. So we press um, space bar again. And then it gives you these options. Record topper. Record DMD. Record back last, which we don't want to do. We just want to do the record play field. So we, we want to record play field and you press uh, space bar. Try to turn the sound up. So I'll put this here. All right, and we're gonna, you'll see that the game's all stretched out now like it should be. So I'm gonna put credits in. All right, now we'll just get the ball on. And now we press, we press S. We press S to start recording and S to stop recording. So I'll just put this down here. I am now recording you playing with your balls. Right. So I want to see ball action here going on. Because you want to see what the table looks like in a track mode. Just gonna do this for a little bit. And then I'll probably let the ball go down the guts. Like that. Then we just press S again. Recording has stopped. Please wait for encoding. Do not touch system. So now it's gonna do this um, recording, encoding. And it makes this noise like the or like um, happy time playing. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of here. Conversion now done. So I press I press exit. And then I'm going to leave it on there. This will go away and then you'll see the um, table table in a track mode with the ball just like I recorded. So there we go. We've got it um, on front view what you see. So when you pick your game We'll just go like that and then go right and it says Paragon. This is what you're going to see. So you can see me pulling back the ball. You can see it's really, really pretty. You want it to be really pretty and, it, and, and some movement happening. You don't want it just static. You want the game to be attractive so you go, yeah, I'll pick that game. All right, we'll move on to the next table. All right, guys, last last table, right? This one's a perfect example. This is what it, the recording is now when I go through the table. You'll see um, that's the preview, right? It's There's a lot of darkness, um, lights flashing, but a lot of darkness. When that disappears, you'll see a lot of dark over here. Um, I'm not really impressed with this one. This is Ballet Atlantis, right? So there's, you can see all that. I like the back glass and the DMD. Everything's good there. Just not really happy with the attract mode on this table. So we're going to start this one. Put me um, there. So we're going to press space bar. Same deal. Record display space bar. Let me go back to record play field space bar. So we're loading up the game. So remember what it looked like before. Right, now I'm going to press um, credit. So when I press start, I'll record. You can hear that. Right. There you go. We'll go one more. Oops, sorry. Well, I'll probably let that drain now. Press stop. Wait for 
Alright. Oh, right. I'm going to turn the lights off again. Exit the game. Conversion now done. Enjoy. So now we're just going to look at the attract mode and see what it looks like. I think that looks much more attractive than the last recording. Really nice table. So there you go, there you go. Um, all right, guys, I hope you really enjoy that video. Um, I really enjoyed actually getting that and nutting that out and, and customizing my previews. I think it's really great. Um, anyway, don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Um, hopefully, you'll get to see more um, learning. As I'm learning, I'm learning all the time, so. Um, when I first got this pinball machine, I had no idea anything about it. So I'm slowly getting there. But anyway, it's, I really love it. Anyway, um, keep watching and subscribe. Cheers, guys.